In this video, I'm going to discuss some tips and some advice for taking the Word 2016 certification test. I'll be honest with you, this is probably the easiest Microsoft certification test you're going to take. So with that, I would say take a deep breath. If you've done your practice, you should be okay on this test. The test itself consists of seven different projects. Each project has four to seven tasks for you to complete. Overall, you have 50 minutes to take the test in full. The sweet number for questions seems to be 35 questions. You might have a couple more, you might have a, a few less, but ultimately I think you're probably gonna see about 35 questions. The first test from my experience is often the hardest test. Uh, usually, probably you'll, you'll see seven different questions for that one, and they seem to be the hardest. What I think CertiPort's trying to do is to kind of get you shaken up a little bit so you don't perform as well on the, the other six projects. So keep that in the back of your mind. If you're struggling on the first one, just keep pressing through. Don't let that slip you up. You only need a 700 to pass, so 70% is not too difficult. If you put your, your study time in and you know your stuff, you'll be okay. A resource that you want to look at is the Microsoft Office or 2016 certification exam page. On this page, it breaks down the test here into five different categories. And then within these categories, it will tell you the different things that you'll be expected to do. So this is a great resource. You can review this list, look at things that you might not be sure of, and then kind of identify some things that you will want to practice. I want to transition over to Gmetrics, and the reason being is I think Gmetrics does a fantastic job of simulating the testing environment. One of the first things I see for this project is the project overview for ice cream. It kind of gives a backstory to the project itself, but it's not really necessary to answer any of the questions. On the certification test, I want to encourage you not to spend a lot of time reading the project overview because it's really not going to help you. As you're working through this test, I mentioned before, you only have 50 minutes to complete all seven projects. And so you wanna pace yourself. As you're running through these questions, maybe this first task trips you up. You're not really sure how to answer it. I wanna encourage you to mark it for review instead of spending a lot of time working on this question. The marking for review will allow you to, at the very end, if you answer all of the questions and all of the projects, you will be able to go back to a summary list, much like this, and look at the questions that you answered and ones that you marked for review. I've seen test takers spend a lot of time on one question that really gave them trouble, and then they were unable to finish the test as a result. So pace yourself. If you're not immediately sure, I'd mark it for review and move on to the next question. As you're working through this test, I want to encourage you to take a deep breath. If you put the practice in, you should be fine. But one of the things that I've noticed is people don't fully read through the question and they miss a step. Looking here at task three, this actually has two steps in it. One is to draw a text box and then one is to fill the text box with text. But the project could ask for three or four steps in order to complete it and get the answer correct. So you wanna make sure that as you're reading through that you're hitting every part of the question. Another thing that I've noticed CertiPort has done a great job on for the 2016 test is trying to disguise things in the question. For example, I think I was working on smart art or a chart or something and they referenced it as a diagram in the test and so you want to be careful that you're reading through the questions and you're reading carefully because you might miss something based upon them trying to disguise part of the question I want to share some practical tips for when you're working through the projects one of the first things I want to share with you is the show hide button and that can be found on the home paragraph group and then this right here is a show hide button. And what that does is it shows non-printing characters. And now this could be extremely helpful if you're asked to do something between section breaks. If you're not sure where those section breaks are, if you just click this button, you can easily identify where your cursor should be based upon what that reveals to you. Now, this shouldn't be confused with the ability to always have those displayed, regardless if, if you have this toggled or not. There's actually another way to always have these certain characters displayed so don't get those two confused but this might be a simple help for you as you're working through the project something else you want to think about is capitalization or punctuation if it has you type something in the document you want to be very mindful of capitalizing words and putting in punctuation where it's necessary I've also seen this from students on practice exams is when they're typing they'll 
go ahead and put a title but they'll hit the space key afterwards and click off and when they're reviewing their stuff they it doesn't look like they've done anything wrong but if they actually click in that property they've added an extra space so be careful when you're typing another helpful thing is you can get lost in some of the projects that they have you working on and it'll have you look for a specific word or phrase within the project and I want to encourage you to use the find button you can do control F on your keyboard or you can hit the find here on the home tab editing group and then navigate through the document so if I'm looking for GPA I all I did was type it here and then identified that for you don't waste a bunch of time looking for something when you can use the simple shortcut to find what you need. If you're preparing for the certification test and you're not sure where to begin, I'm going to go ahead and recommend a few resources for you. None of them endorse me or have given me anything to, to recommend them. But the first is gmetrics.com. All of my students have access to this software, and I'll be honest with you, it's, it's really good at preparing people for the certification test. So this is where I'd begin first. In addition to that resource, you have lynda.com. They have a whole cor video course that's designed towards the certification test. So there's videos, there's projects for you to work through. You also have the Microsoft Word 2016 step-by-step. -step. This is produced by Microsoft Publications. I'll be honest with you, the Lynda course and the book are cover the same content both are great it just depends on you would you rather read through the materials or would you rather watch somebody talk and and listen to somebody talk you through the steps